So in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you where to go in Ableton to mess with your driver settings, audio buffer size, latency, etc. Before we start, I want you to note this little percentage meter here at the top right corner of Ableton. This tells you how the CPU is handling the load that it is currently taking on. If you've got a lot of other programs on your computer running in the background, you'll see a reported increase here. This meter is great for monitoring your changes to driver settings, buffer size, latency, and the like. So where do you actually go in Ableton if you want to update those settings? So I'm just going to click on Live over here at the top, and I'm going to go to Preferences. And then I'm going to make sure I'm in the Audio section right over here. And as you can see, the first option here we have is driver type. Now, if you're on PC, here's where you'd be able to select uh, ASIO for all if you've just installed it or whatever other drivers that you have here. Right now, I've had, I have it set to core audio, which is the max built-in uh, audio drivers. Here you have your audio input and output devices. This is if you want to uh, connect a audio interface and uh, some other stuff. Not going to go into this stuff for now. Uh, but I want to bring your attention down over here to the latency section. So as you can see, right away, we have this option for buffer size. And if I adjust it, uh, let's say I set it to 512, you can see that my output latency or, you know, my overall latency over here, which is sort of the sum of the input and output, is now set to 13, which is higher than it was before. And if I keep increasing it, my overall latency also goes up. Uh, this definitely now means that I could handle a larger load for uh, sound processing, but uh, again, overall latency starts going up. So if I bring it back down, let's say 128, wow, 4 milliseconds, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, pretty good depending on the context, of course, but that's much lower than it was before, but again, a uh, much smaller load of what I can handle now. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty much how you adjust latency and uh, audio drivers uh, in Ableton.